How's it going ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? In this video, we go hands-on with Power Color's just launched Mini Pro eGPU with an RX 570 inside. That means it's gonna be a really nice complement to the graphics-starved Mac Mini or even the MacBook Air 2018 edition. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed and see what it's all about. So the packaging for the PowerColor Mini Pro isn't great, but it definitely gets the job done as far as getting everything to you in one piece. So you have the power brick, which is large and in charge, and you also have a power cable to go along with that brick. Also in the box is a 0.5 meter Thunderbolt 3 cable standard issue. And the last thing we'll find in the box is the installation guide. So on one side of the Mini Pro, you see the gigabit ethernet connection, and on the opposite side, you will see a power connection right there. Now on the rear, you see all the IO related to the GPU. Uh, you have DisplayPort, you have HDMI, and you have DVI as well. On the front, you have the Thunderbolt 3 input, along with two USB type A inputs. And you can see the size compared to my iPhone XS Max. In fact, when the 10s Max is on top like this, it completely covers the front of the GPU. Okay, so here's our setup with the Mini Pro. You have the power brick, which you can see how large that thing is. And then you have the 2018 MacBook Air and the Thunderbolt 3 connection. All right, so let's talk about performance. Here's heaven. You can see obviously a huge increase in performance over the built-in Intel UHD Graphics 617 in this MacBook Air. And you'll find the same story with Valley. I also included the Gigabyte RX 580 gaming box to compare with as well. And you'll see that those compare fairly closely. They're both portable eGPU solutions. And we'll talk more about that in a second. Here's the Bruce X 5K test. You can see a huge increase in performance. Smaller is better in that case. And here with DaVinci Resolve Studio, smaller is better. And you can see the export is definitely much improved over that stock built-in integrated GPU. And lastly, we have Rocket League. You can see the frames per second definitely benefit when using an eGPU. Now, a couple of cool things about this external graphics box is that it has USB-A on front and you have gigabit ethernet. So you have that IO expandability. So if you're using it like a dock, that's gonna help you out. But here's another thing that's cool about this. You can pop off that front cover and you can remove and technically you can upgrade the GPU inside. Now, there's a little asterisk next to that. There aren't a lot of mini ITX friendly form factor GPUs out there that are Mac compatible. And this enclosure comes bundled with the 240 watt external power supply along with a single six plus two pin connector. So you're gonna be limited as far as what GPUs you can use in this thing. Personally, I wouldn't recommend buying this thing with the plan on trying to upgrade the GPU in there. You wanna buy this if you're happy with the RX 570 inside. The good news is that as we saw from the benchmarks earlier, the RX 570 is actually a pretty good GPU, it provides you with some nice performance gains over the integrated graphics. Now let's talk about Gigabyte's RX 580 gaming box because that's the closest competitor to the Mini Pro. First of all, you'll notice that the Power Color Mini Pro is pretty loud when under full load. And here's the same load when running on the gaming box. Much quieter. And then there's the matter of true portability. The gaming box is obviously bigger than the Mini Pro, but when you add in the external power brick, things don't seem so many anymore when compared to the gaming box. I know there are some benefits to having an external power brick, but I personally like how Gigabyte did it and how you have just that single cable connection, no power brick. Now, here's another thing, the IO. All the IO on the gaming boxes on the back of the unit, which is nice for desktop setups, right? You get all your USB and everything, get your Thunderbolt. Uh, obviously you're missing gigabit ethernet, uh, but you'll notice that only the GPU IO is on the back. Everything else from gigabit ethernet to power, to the Thunderbolt 3 and USB ports are all in, all in different locations, which kind of gives you this, this mess of wires when you have everything connected. So just something to keep in mind. Obviously, if you're in search of an eGPU with a super small desktop footprint, then both of these would apply. But unless you absolutely need that small form factor setup, I recommend opting for a full-sized eGPU. 
the Mini Pro from PowerColor has a $479 suggested price. With its recent launch, it should be available at retailers soon. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.